Hello all, this is Nageshwari, Assistant Professor in the Department of Technology at Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology. In this video, we are going to see about the basics of food packaging. Let us first see the definition of food packaging and the same has been defined by the International Packaging Institute as enclosure of products, items or packages in a wrapped pouch, bag, box, cup, tray, can, tube, bottle or any other container form to perform one or more of the functions like containment, protection, preservation, communication, utility and performance. So if a container performs one or more of the mentioned functions, it is considered as a package. The materials used to make these forms of packages include paper, paperboard, glass, metal, polymer or laminates. Food packages has been classified into four levels such as primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary package. We will see one by one. A primary package is one which will be in direct contact with the contained product and provides a major and initial protective barrier. Example for this would be metal can containing condensed milk, paperboard cartons containing a fruit beverage, glass bottles containing wine, plastic pouches containing processed milk. A secondary package contains a number of primary packages. It acts as a physical distribution carrier and is sometimes designed so that it can be used in retail outlets for the display of primary packages. Example, be corrugated case or box. These are few of the examples of a secondary package. A tertiary package is made up of a number of secondary packages. Example for this would be a stretch wrapped pallet of corrugated cases. And this type of packaging is done for easy conveyance or transit. So this is an image which represents the first three levels of packaging, the primary package, the secondary and the tertiary package. A quaternary package is frequently used in interstate and international trade to facilitate handling of tertiary packages. Pallet loads are packed into large metal containers for transportation over long distances by air, land or sea. In quaternary packaging, temperature, humidity and gas atmosphere may also be controlled. For instance, temperature and humidity must be controlled when transportation of frozen foods or chilled meat takes place. This is an image of a metal container used in a quaternary packaging.